Dear Champion Vending Company, I put five quarters in your machine and proceeded to push B2, which should have given me peanut M&Ms. Regrettably, it did not. I found this upsetting as I was very hungry, and also my wife had died 10 minutes earlier. I'm not saying that was your fault. I just want to be thorough. So today, I have a game for you. We're going to play a movie version of the game, Would You Rather. Okay. So first, would you rather work with a director who gives you too many notes or not enough? Not enough. Too many. Too many. Too many notes. Because I feel that there's every note, there's something to work with. And I feel that when you're working with a director, the, the more they can give to you, uh, the more you have to kind of experiment with. Would you rather screw up every take yourself or have someone else screw up your best take? <laughs> oh my god. I think I'd rather have myself screw up every take because um, I often do. I think I would have to go with have somebody else mess up my best take because you could just use my side of it. Am I breaking the rules? It doesn't matter to me. I, it doesn't matter. I don't think there are screw ups. I really Every don't. Every actor is gonna wanna work with you now. No, but I really no don't. Pressure. I mean, screw up is like such a, you know, I think they're just, that's what's so cool about making movies. You know, they're, there's always a discovery, discovery to be made. Like, my biggest pet peeve is when an actor cuts themselves. Like when they go, oh no, no, oh, cut, cut, no, no, sorry. It was like, guaranteed without a doubt something magical is about to happen because they just weren't in control. So to me, I just, the screw ups are what movies are all about. Would you rather sign on for a movie without reading the script or without knowing who you're gonna work with? <laughs> <laughs> Tough one, without reading the script. Anyone who you're working with, because I feel like when everything's about the script, you know, and, and, and to be able to portray a character that means something is what it's about. There have been, now this is, you're putting me in a difficult <laughs> position here because there have been great movies made from mediocre scripts and there have been bad movies made from great scripts. Um, there have been great movies made from great scripts. Uh, but I believe in an energy and I believe it is possible. Could we have the writer there? <laughs> I love how everyone tries to find the loophole to these questions. Well, it's like, you know, my mother's a writer. She's so, it's, it's, I feel like I know how important the writer is. Is there like a dream project or a dream person you would want to work with no matter what, even if you couldn't read the material? That's a tough one. You know, there are so many incredible actors out there right now that I, it's, it's so hard to decide. I mean, of course I can say Leonardo DiCaprio. I, have the utmost respect for and would love to work with him, but I think everybody would. So uh, there are so many brilliant actors out there right now. Would you rather lose a top secret script or break a really expensive piece of equipment? Oof. This is horrible. I hate <laughs> this game. Uh, break a really expensive piece of equipment because nothing can replace the, the uh, you know, mental domain, I guess. I think equipment is more important, so I would just say huh. that's fine. I guess I'd, I'd lose a top secret script or something, but. First person who has said that one to me. Yeah, too. because everyone's like, oh God, like yeah. I don't want a studio to think I would lose a script, but like, what idiot would lose a script? Do you think it's too late to put it all back together? Please,